Good morning. We are up relatively early to get a start on the day because we are set for a tour of Meknes, Mule Idris, and Volubilis. But first, we're going to go find a local cheap breakfast that we can bring back to the Riyadh and take with us on the bus tour. <laughs> that we've come on this tour is a place called Balubalis, which is an old Roman settlement. So initially it was first inhabited around the 2nd century BC and then it was occupied by the Romans for a little bit and then when the Romans left, Idris I, who was the father of the founder of Fez, then settled here and this was initially the capital before they settled in Fez and that became the capital of Morocco. So it turns out that actually this base occupies about 42 hectares of land all in all, so pretty big amount of area to cover. We were offered a tour guide for an extra 250 dirham, but we opted to just try and go for it ourselves. And it turns out that actually when you get your little map, then you actually have like a little kind of route guide to take you around kind of all the best bits. So we're just going to follow that instead, see what happens. <laughs> Jupiter, Juno, and Minerva, all Roman gods, um, and was constructed in 218 AD. I think also probably the best thing about this isn't just the fact that, you know, all of this stuff is really, really cool, but also when you look out from here, just take a look at this view. <laughs> Judiciary Basilica, which was the tribunal for the city and the meeting point for all of the rulers of the city. The forum is a 1300 square meter area of the city that was for administration. 
administrative, political, and economic life. real estate pitches than Rachel's your person. And also this giant centerpiece here appears to be a huge fountain which would have taken the centerpiece of the courtyard. version of plumbing. This is the aqueduct that carried water to all of the houses, the public baths, and the fountains. Okay, so that was the Lubulus. Uh, really, really impressive stuff, considering that that is a 2,000 plus year old city, then the level of preservation on it is incredible. And you said it was like nothing you've ever seen before. Yeah, basically. I mean, like I, maybe it's because I haven't been to Italy yet, but certainly I've only really been to kind of museums with regards to Roman ruins, which are only showing like a small portion of it, like a, a small mosaic or a part of the room or something like that. I've never really seen something that is still kind of standing that you can really walk through and interact with. So uh, yeah, that was really, really cool. On to Mechnes. <laughs> So this morning we actually had a little bit of a mix-up with 
our to our company, we were under the impression that it was supposed to start around 9.30 or 10 in the morning and that they were supposed to collect us from our rehab an hour before that. In the end, they didn't show up, so we gave them a call at about like 9.45 to find out where they were. And it sounds like they tried to call our Riyadh or come by, even though we were sitting outside the whole time and didn't see anyone, to ask if we were there and if we were going on a tour. And our Riyadh apparently told them, no, there's no one by our name here. Well, in the end, it didn't really matter. I think that initially we were supposed to go by a big tour bus with other people. But because obviously they left without us by accident, they ended up sending us a private driver. So we've had an amazing tour guide. His name is Mustafa. And he's been driving us around all day, and we've been getting to know him and chatting with us. And so actually, I think it's turned out really well. Yes, and so where we are right now, after having gone through Bollywood's um, like Idris, and then we now come to Mehmet's, to a restaurant called Planet Ignalia, and we start to let's enjoy some dinner. The restaurant brought some starters, so to begin with we got some bread and a selection of different salads. So we have uh, tomatoes and onions here, carrots, cauliflower and aubergine. they're using in it it's just I can't even describe how incredible all of this food tastes and this salad is actually not hot it's cold but it tastes so refreshing which to me I think of like peas and carrots as like a roast so just they've done it in a different way and it's just so interesting it, it's so good meanwhile what I have is a traditional Moroccan dish called a pastilla so essentially what it is is it's kind of like a filled pancake and so they fill it with chicken and onions and a bunch of other spices and then once they've actually prepared it into like this perfect sphere it's all stuffed and then on top of that they add like a couple of extra spices and some sweet stuff so what you see here, this yellow sauce, is actually honey and that kind of sweet and spiced combo is just, oh my word, it like I I don't think I've tried chicken prepared quite like this before, but it's amazing. Like, if you get an opportunity to try pastilla, I cannot recommend it highly enough. And to finish, we have two very traditional Moroccan dishes. So Rachel has oranges with cinnamon, and meanwhile I have a creme calamed. And as you can see, they didn't last long. Delicious as ever. 